if you have the ability to truly, truly feel people's suffering, just feel it. Yes, mm -hmm. it will help the person who's suffering. But this cannot be taught or learned. It will become a business. It will become commercial. If you won't help anybody, you must not have any intention. And healing comes without intention. If I want to heal myself and have an intention, I will not heal. It has to happen naturally. You will attract the people to you who need exactly what you need. If you are in a point, time in your life that you need to be successful, you need to be famous, you need to be important, these people will find you. I don't want this anymore. The time in my life I did want this. People need to be successful, need to, be, to have money. You know why? Do you know why? Because they need to learn, they don't need it. <laughs> So they have and they to will ha pay a lot of money yes, to they, understand. They have they don't to need. have it, so they don't need it. Mm -hmm. We have a war inside, come from our early trauma in life, and our early trauma is injustice. I'm excited a little bit. I haven't seen you uh, since 2022. Yes, yes. One year. And you are still working a lot. Yes. It's 10 o'clock. Why do you work hard? What's the difference between working hard and working smart? <laughs> <laughs> I don't work. But it's 10 o'clock. I am not working. But what do you do? I'm enjoying myself. At 10 o'clock? Yeah. You are not tired now? If you do what you love, you're never tired. Mm -hmm. How can you be tired? I'm on holiday all the time. You are a millionaire in a holiday. I don't work for money anymore. Mm -hmm. I work because I like it. It's a, it's a great fulfillment. But you have people who are coming here for seven years. Yes. Why they are not healed already? How do you know they're not healed? <laughs> <laughs> I they, don't know. They are getting better I, I and better, better and better all the time. Mm -hmm. Because the, the work I do, it's not black and white. It's not like... Uh, you take a tablet and you feel better. It's a process. B because everything that happened to us in our life, it didn't happen once or twice or three times. It happened certain experience and reinforced and then other things have come and we kept going down, down, down. So you can't undo it in one day or one year or two years. Mm. It's, I call it a process. I have a curiosity. Yes. What is the most common pain here? Uh, in your uh, seminar. You, you mean in here in Romania? No, uh, the, the most common oh. uh, trauma. Uh, most common trauma is... is, is you meet here in okay. your seminars. In, it's universal, okay? Mm -hmm. Any early disruption in a person's life will have a consequences as trauma. Mm -hmm. Disruption from the mother. And many people suffer from disruption, not because the mother is a good or bad, because the circumstances early in life has been very difficult for many parents. And they have not been able to connect with the children 100%. And this, this is the most common thing. And then it escalates. In any disconnection early in life, yes, it has far-reaching consequences all throughout life. And then the first thing it touches is relationships. And relationship is the most traumatizing experience for people who had a disruption before. Because you cannot imagine how it feels for a person who's traumatized trying to have a relationship. It's even that is, is more traumatizing for that person. And the biggest challenge that faces everybody in this life is their inability to have a healthy, natural relationship with another person. This is the most common thing. I feel in a way they are addicted to you. We are addicted to you. It's a good thing to no, be addicted to they, someone? They're not addicted to me. They will be addicted to me if I make it this way. I never make it this way. 
they, they are coming back because they can see things are progressing in their life. And I want to keep emphasizing the word process. It, healing is a process. It is not black and white. It is not that I am unhealed and I'm healed. It is quite a process, really, because the damage, as I said, happened in a process also. People need to begin to experience a new world, a new world of compassion, acceptance, and love, but for real, not professionally, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Because actually, I don't actually do the work directly. I use everybody to heal the person in the room, not only me. And I was saying tonight to the people that uh, when a person comes in a room, I feel very safe very safe. This is what I do the best. And speak about something so painful. And then look at everybody in the room and I see the eyes of the people looking at the person with such compassion, understanding and non-judgment. And then I ask the person, look at the eyes, how they're looking at you. Mm -hmm. This is the most healing experience you can imagine. Mm -hmm. You see, but this needs some work to get people in that, in that uh, state because these people need to trust somebody. You need to trust the person because their biggest issue is no trust. So if they start trusting me in a room and feel safe that everything is actually okay for everybody, so their presence in the room, it is something we don't have in the world today. We have reached a point in our life when nobody has time for anybody. Everybody is panicking, worried about achieving something and to have a future. Why are we panicking to achieve things? Because we don't feel safe. But in a way, they are your customers. And now I am making a good yes. seminar, a yeah. course for entrepreneurs. Yes. You know? And I'm teaching them how to sell products. Very they good. are my customers. Of course, I love them. Good. I love to teach them. Very but good. Also, they are my customers. Okay. Do you feel them are your customers? I have no customers. Don't have customers? No customers. This is very commercial. Do you know, I, I don't sell the seminars mm -hmm. for people to improve their life. I actually have a very strong belief, even though we do things to like make myself visible, even people see me talking to you now, to be visible. I strongly believe something. People find me, I don't find them. How they find me? Everybody in their life, they reach a point when they realize I, I, something is not right. Because our soul is always searching for healing. Yes, and when this moment arises, they will find me or they will find another person that matches their energy. Even they might find someone to hurt them. I don't know about that, it's not my business. But they, they find me, I don't find them. I never force anybody to do any work. But what do you give them? What do you give them? Light, I don't know, uh, wiseness. What do you give this man? It's very difficult now to say it because my ego will come into the conversation. But yeah. you give yes. us something. Yes, of course. Or you share us something. I will tell you, um, I hope somebody is better to say that than me, actually. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Somebody need to answer this question, not me. Huh. The question you asked me. Okay. You see what I'm trying to say? No. Okay. Who? Somebody who has experienced ah. my work need to answer okay. your question more than I. Because if I find out what I am doing to make people better, I will lose the secret I have. This secret is hidden from me. How you, come? No, how you have come? the secret. Because it's not, not in my mind. It's in my heart. Hmm. I can come around it from different way if you want, okay? Have you ever seen somebody that love a person unconditionally? Have you ever seen it? Mm. Have you ever seen um, 
a mother and a child that she totally, completely in love. Mm-hmm. And not the romantic love, like okay. so much devotion, connection. Yes, I saw. Yes. There's, there's an energy there. This energy is like atomic bomb. It is the strongest energy in the whole universe. When somebody loves somebody. Yes, I'm not saying that I, I love the people, this is the energy, but there's something very similar to this. Uh, I had this, since I was born, I was like this. I, I have this sense of, I sense people suffering mm-hmm. a lot. I see it, I sense it in my body. And uh, if you have the ability to truly, truly feel people's suffering, just feel it, yes? Mm-hmm. It will help the person who's suffering. But this cannot be taught or learned. It will become a business. It will become commercial. When I worked in a hospital in England for many years with top psychologists and top doctors, my biggest shock was all these people, top professionals, they have all the knowledge in the world. When somebody come a patient to sit with them they have an incredible amount of compassion but professional compassion not real compassion they have learned it it's not real the first two three years when i worked in hospital in england i was volunteer first before i got i was in training volunteering so i wasn't getting paid and in the breaks we had a staff room in the staff room all these people that I admired the most were discussing their holidays, how much they got paid, how extra time they stayed, angry about the system. I was the only one discussing because I wasn't earning any money. And I was the most effective one because mm-hmm. I didn't need any of that. So people would start coming to me all the time looking for me and I wasn't earning any money. Then I, once I got paid, I joined them. I start thinking about my holiday, about this and that. It, it doesn't, I'm not saying that we shouldn't get paid, but I'm saying that the, there is something very special about being with a person, truly being with a person. You see, the, what happened to, uh, in, in Germany with the Jewish people mm-hmm. is tragic. You know what Jewish people wanted? the world to witness their pain. That's why we have all these films, all this all this propaganda, all this. They needed a person to see what happened to them. And and they have managed. And and they deserve it because what happened to them was absolutely painful. Many things happened to us, but nobody witnessed what happened to us with love. But don't you feel you destroy your health or yourself when everybody wants something from you, when everybody share their pain to you? It's not too much pain this question, in your energy. This question you ask me, yes. many people ask me. It's and too much. Because many everybody people, okay. feels something bad and many, they're coming to you. Okay. Many people ask me, what about your energy? Okay. What happened to your you? Health. Your health. Your health. And I, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't talk about this? And I don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't mean anything to me. When I'm with a person, like being with you, like being anywhere else, mm-hmm. it, it, it's nothing different whatsoever. Nothing. I don't experience losing any energy. Maybe occasionally I get tired by the hours, if, but it doesn't happen all the time. In fact, sometimes I get tired between the seminars more than you in the seminars. Mm-hmm. But I, it, I don't sit with a person thinking I'm investing any energy at all. You see, mm-hmm. I, I, I don't think so. It's, it's not, I, I don't understand that question. Do you have an armor to protect you? And this is again one of the questions. I don't have anything to protect. To protect myself for what? from what? I don't know, from, from I don't know, from the like, request. Like the NATO? Protecting himself from, 
from other countries, like, like an army. I don't need an army to, from what? Mm -hmm. If you have a relationship with somebody, do you need to spend energy to give you a partner? Mm -hmm. Do you need energy? All we need energy. But if you love somebody, yes. do you need energy to give them mm -hmm. to, to make the relationship work? No, I don't think. Uh, it's the same. connection. Connection is energy. Uh, the connection is an ex exchange of energy. Mm -hmm. You see, something that uh, I, I always forget to say. When, when a mother takes care of a child, yes? And she gives energy, do you know what happens? She receives energy at the same time. Mm -hmm. In fact, some neuroscientists found out that when a woman bringing a child up, helping to grow, she grows with them. Mm -hmm. Her brain becomes better. Mm -hmm. That means the giving is receiving. Occasionally I do something, uh, exercises when people give something to somebody, and I have noticed something interesting. The giver gets more energy than the receiver. Mm -hmm. Then I realized one day, I wonder the people who are bigger in the streets, we need them more than they need us. They give us the opportunity. Have you had the experience when you give something to somebody and you felt a bit up, very good, very good, and up, mm -hmm. like the things you have done in Africa and places like this? Mm -hmm. How how did you feel after that? Very happy. Can you imagine if I, if I tell you now, how can you keep your energy? No. Now I've answered your question. <laughs> Do you actually have more mm -hmm. energy, actually? We are here in this life to support each other. Mm -hmm. It is like I have a course called Life Support Life. But this is a very dangerous statement because many people do it for a reason. Mm -hmm. If you won't help anybody, you must not have any intention. And healing comes without intention. If I want to heal myself and have an intention, I will not heal. It has to happen naturally. Uh, there is a sentence in the Bible that says, uh, if two people gather by my name, I'll be with them. This sums it all up. Do you know what I think you yeah. give the people? What? I asked myself in the last mm -hmm. few years, yeah. what many is giving to this? Mm -hmm. First, I thought you give them light in my mind. Yeah. And after that, today I arrived in the mall and I wanted to buy a gift to you. Mm -hmm. And I want first to, to, to buy a book, oh, yeah. a big yeah. book. Mm -hmm. And when I was traveling in the mm -hmm. shop, mm -hmm. I found this. <laughs> I was going to ask you, what is this? <laughs> and I have never touched something like this. Really? It's a musical box oh. for children. And I think you bring music in our lives. They want to give oh, it to you. Thank you so much. And this music is the music that reminds you of your childhood, yes? I don't know. I didn't this touch is, something like this. Really? A lot of children hear this music when, uh, when they were very small, with the little mm -hmm. toys they had. And mm -hmm. Maybe it has uh, some kind of association. Yes. And mm. Thank you so much. Thank received you. with gratitude. I feel very good <laughs> when you receive this you see? gift from me. Yes, thank you so much. So after I bought this thing, mm -hmm. I don't know why, in my mind, I had a question. Yeah. How could I be a good mentor, a good teacher for the others? Okay. Because I told you, I have a course. I have, I have entrepreneurs mm -hmm. in my responsibility. And I wanted to ask you, what should I do to be not like you because you are yeah, unique, yes. but to, to, to learn more things from mm -hmm. your abilities and to be a mentor for entrepreneurs. What's because that? I have a lot of programs and I have a lot of responsibility. And since we have seen last time, I have sold all my businesses. And now yes. my main business is to teach the others. And I like a lot and I love to do this. And I, uh, I, I have a lot of energy and gratitude because I have the opportunity to teach the entrepreneurs how to raise a business, how to develop a business, how to franchise their business, etc. To help the others. And I have a question. What should I do 
to be the greatest mentor <laughs> uh, and to help the most people. Okay. I don't know if you're going to agree with my answer or not. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to hear. Are you sure? Okay. Yes, I'm sure. Your presence is the help. Mm -hmm. But they want theory. These people who want theory, th theory yes, yes, they're after you because you want the theory. <laughs> no, they, they, I feel they are bored if I want to give them my presence, yeah. my attitude. They really need, I don't know, something theoretic. These people who follow you, yes, okay. they, are, they want to be successful. Okay. I don't want work with people who want to be successful. So you don't have the knowledge to tell me? No, not at all. It's, what you're doing is fine. I'm not saying it's wrong, yes? Mm -hmm. But you have to ask yourself the question, why do I want to be successful? Mm -hmm. Why? But I am already successful. Yes. And I want to share with them my knowledge. Yes, why? In a way, I know to save them, but let's not speak about this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, to speak about uh, savings, my savings, because okay. you already... You talked about this before. Yes. But why do you want to help people? Why do I want? Yes. I feel it's inside me. Mm -hmm. It's the same you are not able to give me an answer when I, <laughs> when I ask you <laughs> why you help them. Yeah. But, uh, what? what? I, I asked you, what do you give them? And you didn't know. I, I don't give anything. Really? No, I give them something. I give them my presence mm -hmm. only. Y you will attract the people to you who need exactly what you need. Mm -hmm. If you are in a point, time in your life that you need to be successful, you need to be famous, you need to be important, these people will find you. Mm -hmm. I don't want this anymore. The time in my life I did want this. It's fine. I'm not saying what you're doing is not good at all. Mm -hmm. Because people need to be successful, need to be to have money. You know why? Do you why? know why? Because they need to learn. They don't need it. <laughs> so they have and to they ha pay a lot of money yes, to they, understand. They, they have don't to need. have it so they don't need it. Mm -hmm. You can never teach people that money is not important. Mm -hmm. You cannot. They have to earn it. And then when they earn it and they realize they are exactly the same, then they will know I didn't need it. I don't mean, I don't mean they shouldn't have any money. I don't mean that at all. You should have money, of course. I have money. And all the money I have, I didn't sit down and say I have to have all this money. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, if a person is happy and connected to themselves, the money will come. Why? If the money does not come, nothing will happen to them. So they are totally free. Yes? When you are free, everything comes to you. If you're not free, you're attached to something you wanted so badly. And I always say this, desire, the desire is the most dangerous thing in the world. Because the word desire itself means it is not enough. The person who wants to be successful, after they have the money, they want to be more successful and more successful. I'm not saying success is bad, not at all. But they will never stop. So this is the kind of people. I, I think you're doing a great work, actually, mm -hmm. because you are showing them they can be successful, and after that, they will learn what they want. And the person who is conscious will be wise enough to know now I have to look at myself. So you are doing great work. So I'm not saying that he is, what you're doing is not good at all. Mm -hmm. But the world we live in now, now, yes, is moving to a direction when we have become so insecure mm -hmm. and, and unsafe. And the only safety I need is my position and money. That's why we have crisis in relationships. Mm -hmm. 
people are not loyal to anybody anymore except their success. But I have students who have millions. Yes. And they don't feel safety. I don't know why. Because they are spending all the time thinking the money will make them safe. It will not. Impossible. If I am if I'm not safe, if I have the money, I'll be unsafe also. It's the same thing. And it's going back to your first question you told me. What, what, why people, what is the biggest uh, problem with everybody's life? We do not feel safe. The situation now in the war, because people don't feel safe. They want to have something to protect themselves. I have a personal curiosity, yes. if you want to speak about this. Yes. It's my intention, yes. not yours. Yes. You are Egyptian. Yes. Okay. Your neighbors mm -hmm. are fighting. Yes. I'm not Egyptian, but I don't feel safety. <laughs> okay. I don't feel safety. Yes. Because it seems to start a new war, the biggest war. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't feel comfortable. You know, if you want to speak about this, mm -hmm. if you feel comfortable. About the situation now? Yes, about yeah. the situation now. What? Okay. How do you see this? Because. Uh, you are Egyptian. Okay, I, w I will go to a much higher level than, than the war. Okay. Because actually, this is the wrong war. And the wrong war has the wrong peace. It's a wrong war. This is not a war, it's something else. Okay. What is this? I will talk about it. The whole world now, people taking sides. Some people support the Israelis. Some people support the Palestinians. And you know what these people are doing? They're starting a new war. This is a war. When I take side, and you take another side, it's a war. We continue the war again. Mm -hmm. So nobody's solving anything. We have the situation that happened now in the Middle East. Yes? It is probably a big turning point for humanity. But we caught on the details. You, you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. We caught on small details. We need to go much higher than that. The process, the realization started with me when I was in Egypt, because I was in the war myself. Mm -hmm. Yes? We were at the university, and we were having a debate about Israel and Egypt, because we were in war. Yes? Uh, Egypt versus Israel. We actually we went to war with Israel about the Palestinian. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes? And uh, when we were discussing the university, about the war and everybody talking about America and this and other. And I, and I stood up and said, uh, by the way, imagine God came down and said, I made a mistake. There is no Israelis and no Egyptians. What are we going to do? Everybody thought I'm a crazy person, actually. Mm -hmm. Because I, then I had a massive awareness. We live in illusion. There is no Israelis and Egyptians. We are human beings. Yeah, that's all. Mm -hmm. Once you belong to a certain group or country or something, you are inviting yourself to be discriminated at or fighting somebody else. This is the very big picture. And the world is not ready for this yet. But this situation is awakening us to step towards that. And we, I, I say to people in the seminar, maybe you have to learn to hate to be able to love. And I think the world is going through a process of learning to love, but in a stage of hating now. This is the much bigger. It is not about Israel and Palestinian. It's not about anything else. This, is, this war represents something to all of us. The war in Israel and uh, Palestinian is in every single person, in you and I. Now, so this war is expression of our, our deep pain and our unconscious. Mm -hmm. Actually, pe person who's traumatized is more likely to fight than the person who's safe. The, the, I think this war is part of our evolution. But we are looking 
a very small part. How many people talking now as I'm talking to you on YouTube and the news, demonstration, everybody would be sick of it now. And not only, can you imagine that people talking and talking and nobody is looking at themselves? Have you noticed? Mm -hmm. Everybody is talking about Israelis and the Palestinians. Nobody is talking about, my God, I am sometimes violent to my partner. I'm angry with somebody. So this war mm -hmm. is making us even more blind. Mm -hmm. And we need to look at ourselves. If every single person look in the heart and soul, what am I doing? I'm competing, I want to kill somebody, I'm angry with somebody. You know, the whole world become peace tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This year, I've been there in Palestine yeah. and yes. Israel. Yes. And I have friends from Palestine and Israel. Yes. So, what about forgiveness? Because these days I've seen little children in coffins. Yes. Also in Palestine, also of in course. Israel. Yes. It's incredible. Do you think they could forgive? The others? Uh, um, I always say... Because we speak about forgiveness. What about forgiveness when you see your child, child dead in the coffin? Okay. Forgiveness is not a choice. You cannot. You cannot choose to forgive. This is a mental activity. The best thing to do, not the best, what I suggest to do, the Israelis and the Palestinians sit together and cry together about what they have lost together. To grieve together. This is not possible, I think. Well, it will be possible one day after they kill so many people. Mm -hmm. We should not, I don't like the way should, but I have to use it. We should not judge the Israelis or the Palestinians. And I tell you why. Both are victims. Mm -hmm. Both feel insecure, unsafe trying to find a home for themselves. The moment I take, I should be taking the side of the Palestinians because I, it is my world. I don't think so. If we take sides, we increase the war. And now the media is the war. The media? Yes. Because Why? The media, the people, I, I've been looking at newspapers very carefully, yes? Yes, but we need to be informed. I know, but uh, the person who's writing the articles and putting photos, I, I'm very careful, I watch very carefully. Mm -hmm. I find some newspaper putting photos about the Palestinians only. Another one putting photos about the Israelis only. Mm -hmm. Then I realize this person has an agenda. You see, has a bias. And the bias comes through their communication in the media and they keep splitting the world again. Mm -hmm. So, if, if you support Israel and I support the Palestinians, we have a war already. <laughs> you see? Mm -hmm. So basically, the war continues. If we all stop supporting one or the other, maybe the war will stop. War comes from conflict. Yes? Mm -hmm. As simple as that. If you and I are having a conflict, yes? We have a war. We need to be an example for the Palestinians and Israelis so they can learn from us. But what should do the neighbors? I'm curious. The neighbors, yes. what should they do? To stay? Or what should uh, do a guardian like United States to stay and to look? Well, you, you see, you're going to open a big subject now because we can close it if you don't mind. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, we have to be very careful because this is a global problem. Mm -hmm. It's not an Israeli and Palestinian problem. It's a global problem to do with power and many other things. And the problem is much bigger than us. Much bigger than us, mm -hmm. actually. There's some dimension in this problem that uh, maybe we don't know about. But I, I, I was trying to go much higher than okay. where you're going with the politics part of it. You see? Yes, let no, let's not speak about politics. Okay. Here. Mm -hmm. What is but, peace? But, 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 
Uh, so, okay, what is question? What is peace? What is peace? peace definition of peace. Because now we really need a definition. The peace does not exist. There's no such a thing. In Romania, exists. What? We have peace in this yeah, country. Yeah. Why do you want to have peace? You have peace because there's war. If there's no war, there's no peace. We don't have war here. You have life. Okay. The fact this is peace. Yeah. Uh, well, you can call it this way, but the fact you want peace, that means you're in war. You see, the, how many organizations around the world fighting for peace? <laughs> a lot. A lot. How many groups fighting for peace? How many politicians talking about peace? Mm -hmm. Why? Because there's war. Mm -hmm. There's no need. The, the job, the job of the government, the job, mm -hmm. job of any leader, yes? Guess what? To stop the country going to war. Mm -hmm. That means we need more Gandhis in the world. You know, Gandhi refused to be a president. Mm -hmm. The job of any, any government is to stop the country going into war. This is what you asked me about what the neighbors should do. Mm -hmm. The neighbor should stop any potential of war. All they need to do is to talk. Talk. To each other. And to listen. Yes. That this is impossible for... It's impossible because they have other reasons. Mm -hmm. I can talk about maybe uh, some countries, even especially in the Middle East. Let's put in the context of relationships better. Okay. So I don't get into trouble. Okay? To go out from this topic. A couple, a couple in relationship, yes. If they have a problem with another person outside the relationship, yes, the couple will stay together longer. Do you know what I'm trying if to say? If they have a problem, they will stay together longer? Yes. Okay. And if, if they don't have a problem, they will... They will turn against each other. To have, a to have troubles, to yes. create troubles. If, if, if two people in a relationship yes. and they face a challenge, mm -hmm. they will unite mm -hmm. to solve the challenge. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. If there's no challenge, they will have to fight each other. Mm -hmm. But why? Because human beings cannot yet live in peace. Because we have a war inside, come from our early trauma in life. And our early trauma is injustice. Mm -hmm. So everybody who is fighting, they're not fighting enemy. They're fighting their parents and somebody else. They're fighting their parents? Yes. Mm -hmm. If my mother left me and hurt me and I'm angry, I'll meet you and I will fight with you. Mm -hmm. Now you ask me what I do in the seminars. This is what I do. I stop people fighting their parents. So basically, we're making peace. But the most of the people are dying and yeah. they are still not making peace with their parents. Yeah. Well. The most of them. Many people come to the seminar. They are and dying the, upset. Yes. And when they die, there's an energy they leave behind in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And we breathe this atmosphere. You see, the people who have suffered from trauma in childhood, yes? Okay. This is, have a big, deep sense of injustice. Mm-hmm. And people who suffer injustice, they will fight. I go back to what you asked me earlier. Instead of fighting an enemy, we need to look at ourselves. So I remember something, interview with Donald Trump. And uh, somebody asked him, 
Why did you talk to Putin? He's a criminal. He's a war criminal. How can you talk to him like this? This guy, this guy killed so many people. And Trump said to him, what about us? We did the same. He, he, he need to take it a bit deeper than that. Mm -hmm. He should say, what about me? <laughs> you see? So mm -hmm. if I fight with you, before I fight you, I'm going to, say, I'm going to ask myself, what about me? What, what I'm suffering from that I'm, I'm in total denial of facing my pain. Mm -hmm. You see? That's why I told you, the Palestinians and Israelis are victims. They are victims themselves. They are dying for safety. Mm -hmm. But if you would have a power to make peace there, what should you do? I would not make peace there. I make peace with myself. Because mm -hmm. if I make peace with myself and people come in my energy, they will have peace. And the more people will do that, the peace will increase and the war will not continue. Go to any discussion about the war and watch how people talk. You see the anger is coming out. I, I, I heard, they say the right thing, but in the tone of their voice and the pain that's coming through their voice is a war in itself. Okay. Menis, I insist to give a solution, please. <laughs> <laughs> you are Menis. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I had an idea, actually. Oh, okay. okay. And, and I told you before we discussed okay. this. Uh, when I said to you that uh, Israelis and Palestinians need to sit together and grieve together, mm -hmm. remember? Okay. How about all of us sit together and grieve for them as well? How about all of us have... 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, one day, to all stop and send our compassion for the Israelis and Palestinians. It's incredible. We can choose 1st of December. Okay, we'll do that. 1 o'clock, for example. Yes, only that. Mm -hmm. Do you know that this war not only causes damage to the world, she's actually, it is actually uniting the world? in a very strange way. Okay. What a contradiction. The whole world is busy with this. So we are connecting this way also. How because I of the world we are connecting? Yes, how ironic. It's like I know couples and relationships and families, they only speak when they are fighting. <laughs> Actually. They say the truth only? No, no. When they are fighting, they connect together. When they're not fighting, they say, they, some, they, some families, okay. they don't talk to each other. Ah, okay. But when there's a problem, they fight it, they connect. <laughs> the world is actually connecting mm -hmm. in the most amazing way. I, how ironic. Mm -hmm. So this situation, I think, is, is, there's a much higher power controlling this. Ironically, this war, this conflict, how painful, is, is in the area where all religions come from. Christianity, Islam, mm -hmm. and the Jewish faith come from this area. Mm -hmm. It's where the, the focus of, of all religions, can you see? So the very special place is a message for us about the world. Now, now today, the whole media, all of the, in fact, the war in Ukraine completely almost died. Nobody's listening to it anymore because it has attracted our attention so much. But, but I want to come back to one thing. And this is my area. I always see, I, I, when I hear somebody talking mm -hmm. or, or interacting with me, I see the mind behind the conversation, the mind, see? The mind of people who are talking about the war is worse than the war. They're saying exactly the right things, but the way they're saying it, it is so aggressive and so painful. And then I start to see these people are suffering. They are suffering from their own childhood. The trauma that happened to them. But they found an opportunity, like Islam, for example, yes? Nothing wrong with Islam. What is wrong? Traumatized people use Islam to express 
their anger and pain. It happened in every religion, like the fanatic, the the people who the so angry about uh, the religion, how be, they've been prosecuted. They're not prosecuted at all. There are Muslims who are intellectual, happy, living okay. There are Christian living okay. There are Jewish people living okay. But there are some causing too much trouble, nothing to do with the religion. It's the people using the religion as an arena mm -hmm. to, uh, like the gladiators, <laughs> in a place where they can express their deepest pain in their life. And if you ask me again how we started, what I do in the seminars, I take these people, I take this out of the people to let it evaporate. Mm -hmm. We don't have a problem with anybody, we have a problem with ourselves. You see? So go back to the idea, I think maybe it will be a wake-up call for all of us to stop and send our compassion for these people who are suffering and, and hear them and let them know that we can see they are in pain, to witness their pain. I actually think when I look at all the films that made about the Holocaust and all these years, I didn't understand why there's so many of them. And now I understand Jewish people have suffered like hell and they want the world to witness the suffering. And I want to take you back to the course again. When a person shares in a seminar and we witness the suffering with love and compassion, this person can heal because finally they realize somebody believed them. I was there. I confirmed this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I suffered in my childhood and nobody knows. Nobody knows and nobody would believe me. And if people believe me and see me and listen to me, my pain will evaporate. But why after the people are going out from this room, yes. they are stopped be authentic? N not necessarily, because one day... I did it. Okay. After I go out, okay, but I've gone out, uh, I stopped. To I understand. When you go to the gym, yes, and find a person with big muscles, yes? Mm -hmm. You go one day, and you want to have big muscles? <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Mm -hmm. I go and see these people. Why are not like this? Yeah. I want to do five minutes. Yes. And I expect big muscle. It, you have to build the muscles again. Yeah? And you have to repeat until this is the process for all of us. People are not patient enough. Everybody wants it today. Now. They think healing is like a achievement. It's not achievement. It's a process. Mm 